Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to schedule messages later in Microsoft Teams. There is a difference between how you schedule a message in a chat and how you schedule a message in a Teams channel. I am going to start by demonstrating a chat message. So I've logged into Microsoft Teams and I am on the chat tab. Let's pretend that I want to have a conversation with Adele, but I notice that her status is offline. I can create the chat now and hope that she sees it later. What I'm going to do instead is write my message now and schedule it for a time when we are both available. Although this example is about an offline coworker, this is useful when people are in meetings as well because it helps to minimize distractions. Now that I have typed the message, right click over the send button. The send at schedule time box pops up and the default is the next day at 8 a.m. You can click the drop down next to the date to choose something different from the calendar. In this example, I'm fine with the following date, but what I want to do is click the drop down to choose a different time. The one thing that briefly confused me the first time is that it appears like 8 a.m. is the earliest time. I wanted to send my message at 7 a.m. One would expect 7 to be above 8 and scroll up. Nope, you have to scroll down past midnight to see the early a.m. hours. So now I'm going to select 7 a.m. and then I'm going to click on send at scheduled time. The date and time for the scheduled send appears above the message we typed earlier. This is a preview where you can add more to the message if you want. If you stop here, the message will not actually send. You must click the send button to finish the process. Now that the chat message is posted, you can see the date and time you chose and a clock icon as a visual indicator that the message has not gone to Adele yet. Now let's say that as I'm reading this, I realize that I've made a little bit of a mistake. I can still edit this message. Hover over the message and select the three dots for more options, then select edit. We've had the option to edit the text of a message for a long time. What's different here is if you select the blue link for the date and time, you can go in and modify the schedule. So in this example, I really meant to send this at 730. From here, I can resend it a scheduled time or if I want to, I could cancel it altogether. For this example, click send it a scheduled time and then click the check mark to accept the edits. One little quirk that I noticed is if you go to create a new message with someone whom you have never chatted with before, when you go to the bottom of the page and enter your message and then right click, you'll get a message saying that you cannot schedule a send for the very first message. So what happens if you want to schedule a message in a Teams channel? We are now on the Teams tab in the Instructor Corners channel. When I scroll down to the bottom of the page, and then click on the new conversation button and right click over the send button, the schedule dialog box that we've been talking about does not come up. If you want to schedule messages in Teams channels, the Teams admin for your organization has to turn on Power Automate for Teams workflow options. For this demonstration, I have to assume that Power Automate is available in your environment. I have pinned Power Automate to my left-hand navigation rail in Teams. The two instant flows that you will need to set up is schedule a message and schedule a reply. Both of these flows are templates and therefore are fairly easy to set up. Schedule a reply is a template right here in Microsoft Teams. Scheduling a message is a template that you can search for in the Power Automate standalone app. But once you apply the template, you can see it here in Teams. If you are following along, please feel free to pause the video while you set up your templates. Now I am back in my Teams channel and I'm going to start by scheduling a message. Click the three dots under the Compose box for new message and choose Workflows. Then choose Schedule a Message. A floating dialog box will appear and this is where you need to craft your message. Unlike what we saw with chats earlier, there is no default date and time. So you will pick the date that you want to send the message and then scroll through the list and select your desired time. You need to enter your message here in this dialog box. So when you're using schedule a message using workflows via Power Automate, everything is contained within this card and you're not typing the message in the new message dialog box. 
Next, if you want to at mention someone to bring their attention to this specific message, put it in the people to at mention field rather than the body of the message. For this example, I'm going to choose Adele since I also sent her a chat about the same topic. And finally, you can choose to notify yourself when the message is posted. So this is going to send you a notification in your activity bell in the upper left-hand corner of Teams. With that done, all I have to do is click Submit to schedule this message. Unlike scheduling a message in chat, you are not going to see a preview of the message. It's being held in Power Automate and will post to your team when the date and time arrives. Now let's look at scheduling a reply to a team's message. This is also a bit different as well. Find the message you want and hover your mouse over it. Click the three dots for more options. Then select more actions and then select schedule a reply. A floating dialog box will appear. Once again, you will need to fill in the information for your message by selecting a date and then selecting a time. In this case, I'm going to intentionally make a mistake and select 7.30 p.m., not a.m. Now I can put in my message, and then all I have to do is click on Submit. Once again, because Power Automate is handling the messaging for us, you're not going to see your preview of the message here in Teams. So let's go back to the Power Automate app. Now let's say you realize that you made a mistake like I did. I'm gonna have to go back to the details page for the actual flow, and then you'll see that it is running and waiting for the time. So it's on this delay until step. We don't really have the option to edit the message, so instead what you need to do is you need to cancel the flow and then start all over again. Go to the upper right hand corner of the screen and select cancel. You'll get a floating message asking you if this is what you want to do and click OK. Now you'll see this red banner that says your flow has been canceled. So there you go. Now you know how to schedule a message to send later in Teams. I personally find send to chat the easiest to use, but you tell me, is this a feature that you will use? If you want to learn more about Power Automate workflows and teams, check out the video on the screen and I will see you there.